Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It's Jill with Go English Coach. Today, we're going to be doing these three things. We've got um, a little worksheet that we're going to work on here at the computer. Um, actually, most of the things we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing here. So here is a document that we started in the um, intermediate class, okay? I presented um, this area here where we had just a simple present tense affirmative sentence. Then from there, we took this sentence and we converted it into the negative present tense. So I am five feet tall, changed to I am not five feet tall. Uh, and then we took the same sentence and we converted it to the past tense, okay? And what I would like for you to do now is to do negative past tense. And then from there, we're going to switch it into past progressive. But so let's just give a couple examples here. So I was five feet tall. I wasn't five feet tall. Okay, that's simple. Okay, she had two dogs. She didn't have two dogs. Every day he did yard work. Every day he did not do yard work. Okay, I knew that man from work. I didn't know that man from work. So many people, when they have a past tense like this, and then you have to make it into the negative, um, they would say, I didn't knew. So remember that when you take the verb, you have to change it from past tense back. So you, you use the didn't to indicate the negative, And therefore, you do not need to have the verb in the, in the past tense anymore. So didn't tells you past tense. So then you use the no, the kind of um, the base main, the base form of the verb. Okay, so I knew that man from work. I didn't know that man from work, okay? So there we go. I like to just make sure everybody can understand what I'm doing. We thought it was ready. So we have two verbs here. Um, watch what we do. We thought it was ready. We didn't think it was ready. So you don't need to do anything with this second verb, just this first one. Okay, he went to church on Sundays. He didn't, he didn't go to church on Sundays. Okay, the baby got two bottles in the morning. The baby didn't get two bottles in the morning. Every night I said, I love you to my sons. Every night I didn't. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Um, so you're no so noticing this, you guys, that I'm always using I is always capital, even if it's in the middle of the sentence. And we always, I notice that many um, people do this because not all languages require um, a capital at the beginning. So make sure you're using capitals at the beginning of your sentences and always using punctuation. So comma, period, all of those, okay? It's really important in English. Okay, every night I didn't say I love you to my sons. Um, the company wanted to develop a new marketing plan. The company didn't want to develop a new marketing plan. Um, could you see the difference? You're going to say, couldn't you see the difference? Now, what we've discussed before is that this, this sentence and this sentence are essentially the same meaning. So you're asking basically the same question, even though this is negative. Could you see the difference? Couldn't you see the difference? There's a bit of a difference in the tone, or but the meaning is essentially the same. Okay, it's a little bit more like this one is like, couldn't you see the difference? Like, like you're kind of confused. Like I saw it. Why didn't you? That's kind of the difference there. But the meaning of those sentences is the same, essentially, just a little bit different tone. Okay. What did it mean? What did it mean? I mean, this is an okay sentence. I'd, I'd kind of just rather leave it because it doesn't really make sense. 
you don't really want to make what didn't it mean it doesn't really it's like kind of like this one where it doesn't really change the meaning so you really would say what did it mean yeah um i mean if we wanted to create another sentence here we could just go like hola means hello in spanish okay let's say that so also um languages are capitalized in english Okay, so there's our second sentence where we're using this word means. And now let's do this. So let's make this one negative. Hola doesn't mean hello in Spanish, even though this is incorrect. We're going to just use that. Okay, so doesn't mean is the sentence. Okay, that's a little bit more. It's a little easier to do that. Hola. So... And then sometimes we can use these quotation marks just to kind of separate the word from the other part of the sentence so that we doesn't, you know, get confusing. The landlord let us rent his home. The landlord didn't let us rent his home. In the morning, I made my bed. In the morning, I didn't make my bed. Friday came at the end of the week. Friday didn't come um, at the end of the week. The plane took off at 12.15 yesterday. The plane didn't take off at... Ugh. Okay, my friend, my friend didn't look ill. He thanked the doctor every time he left the office. He didn't thank the doctor when he left the office. So you can see I changed the sentence a little bit because if I say he didn't thank the doctor every time he left the office, I mean, you can, but it, it just kind of feels a little more natural if I say he didn't thank the doctor when he left the office. Okay, everyone told me that I looked like her. Everyone didn't tell me that I looked like her. You could say that, or you could say, no one told me I looked like her. So that's one option. Let's go and just do the regular transit. Everyone told me I didn't look like her. No, that's fine. Let's leave it like that. Um, let's see, the assistant put the financial information into the document, the, sorry, that was really fast, um, didn't put the financial information into the document, uh, Marco didn't like to play with the, okay. My cousin talked on the phone nonstop. My cousin didn't talk on the phone nonstop. Okay, my father-in-law needed a new car. My father-in-law didn't need a new car. Some people believed the story. Some people didn't believe the story. Okay, almost there. He gave, uh, they gave a trophy to the winner. They didn't give a trophy to the, okay. I tried every day to improve my health. I, tr I didn't try every day to improve my health. My dad called me every other week. My Dad didn't call me every other week. Okay, what does that mean every other week? It means one week, yes, next week, no. One week, yes, next week, no. Um, and when we're talking about mom and dad, we're talking about them, we can just use lowercase. But if I say in a sentence, dad, you need to go to the doctor, then I would, use, like, like dad is his name, then I would use the capital D, okay? Um, the dogs always found their bones. The 
dogs didn't always find their ordinary bones. Okay. She felt nauseous. She didn't feel no, not capital. No, she, yes. It's a weird one to spell. Okay. It happens. It happened every time. It didn't happen every time. The That customer asked for more salt. Let's see. That customer always asks for more salt. Customer, that customer didn't always ask for more salt. Okay. Great. So what I would like for you guys to do is to take, so basically you're going to convert past tense to past progressive. Okay. So you're going to enter that in here and then we will review that. Let's do a couple of these together and then you're going to work on your own. Um, so some of these are not going to work. And if they don't work, I want you to just put a little line in there. Okay. Or just say like not applicable. Okay. I was five feet tall. We're not going to say I was being five feet tall. That doesn't make sense. Um, she had two dogs. Nope. Because to have is a non-action verb as well. Um, let's see. So the sentence is every day he did yard work. We're going to say he was doing yard work work. So we take out every day because every day is used in the present tense or it can be used in the past. Okay. So was doing is what we're changing that to. So I knew that man from work. We're not going to put this in the past progressive because it's the verb to know. And we don't use, um, it's an, it's a non action verb. So we're not going to use ing. We thought same thing with this one. He went, he was going to church on Sundays. This one is an action verb, so you can use that. And I would like for you guys to do the rest.